welcome to national defense institute so in this video we are going to look something different and different sport so for whom they are conducting the different sport for the differently abled persons they are conducting a, a different sport which is called as the paralympics so in this video we are going to look about the paralympic sports and how the participants are all are participating in the sport from all over the world and how it all started and who started and when started so everything we are going to see in this video so we can ha i have some of the pictures for you for the past paralympics 2024 has been ended so in that what happened we have some of the familiar pictures which we came in the social media you take this girl a uh, egyptian uh, of a fencer she is an egyptian fencer her name is nada hafiz so she was seven month pregnant when she clinched a bronze medal and you can have this tangavel mariyappan from tamil nadu state so she he also clinched a bronze medal and consecutively for three years he is clinching this one so what is difference in this one so a normal person is having all abilities and he is participating in a sport is different then a person who is differently able and participating in any sport is different so those people doesn't have any uh, they will be have some people will be lack in limbs or they will be having a, a, a pra, pra, they'll be having some impairment so with that they are coming into the sport and then they are achieving many medals and comparing to the olympics so everything we are going to see in this video so first one so I, as i told when it all started it started in 1948 when a person called a ludwig gutmann so he is a, a jewish person who fled from nazi germany and settled in london and he started with people uh, he started to treat people who is having impairment in their body so people who is having paralyzed or those people are called as paraplegic persons so to, to those people he started to have a small a hospitable one so in that he came up with an idea that we have to start a, a quick recovery for the uh, sportsman uh, to the patients who are inside the hospital because if they are in the hospital situation we have to make sure those people should be taken from that area and then they have to rehabilitate it so they will be having different mindset you can see this one any any person is inside the hospital they'll be in the different mindset where if any person is outside the hospital or if you are engaged with any sports activity or any other uh, activities like uh, art and craft so their mind will be different they will not think that they are inside the hospital so this idea was came up with L this like uh, ligwin gutman he is a guy who started this initiative after his initiative only the paralympics still we are talking as in 2024 all over the world the more sports persons are coming and then they are participating in this paralympics okay so here he gave he came up with a small idea that he started for in a, a small area and a small number of sports persons and a small number of medals so what is the number of that one so it is actually 14 okay so sorry it is 16 in the 16 a 14 were men and two were women has been participated in the first olympics and who are the injured person the injured persons were nothing but your world war veterans we know that one world war 2 ended at 1945 and the first paralympics which happened in london is 1948 so what is his aim is to make sure the 16 persons to participate in 1948 london olympics but london olympics is only for the person who is having normal limbs and normal they will be having a normal body for the sports but he started a initiative by participating those people who doesn't have a normal they'll be in a wheelchair they'll be having the caliper in their legs so to those people also we have to include sport sport is for everyone it is not only for the person who is having limbs it is also for the person who doesn't have limbs but if they have skill and dedication towards the sport anyone can achieve uh, any medal in your sport event so that is the example for your paralympics i'll be showing some of the examples and some interesting stories inside the paralympics medal that too for the paralympics 2024 there are many people who came are in a different para impairment they for example you know impairment 1 uh, like they be having l1 l2 s1 s3 for example um the person doesn't have their uh, what uh, judo we have something called para judo para judo is like a blind judo if their person is having blind so those people can able to participate in something different so for each and everything there are different different categories clear so in this one in this paper the, it was published that the edinburgh evening news published that the first london olympics is going to happen in 1948 and all over the world participants came and then they participated and here we can see he is a is a man who is behind the paralympics who started the initiative to the 
war veterans. The name is Dr. Ludwig Gutmann. He is a neurologist. And sir, we know Paralympics. But before, what is the name of the Paralympics? The Paralympics names was before it is called as Stock Mendeville Hospital. Sir, it is why it is Stock Mendeville Hospital means it started in the hospital which was founded by Ludwig Gutmann. So this guy founded this hospital and then he is treating some people inside that hospital. And then later he kept the sports name or the game name itself Stoke Mandeville Hospital as a Stoke Mandeville Games itself. Later Stoke Mandeville Games become as a Paralympics. And we know July 29 July 1948 the opening ceremony of the London 1948 Olympic Games started and in this the first competition were wheelchair and athletes. First of all they started with the game for wheelchair. In that wheelchair athletes which he named as a Stokeman Mandeville Games which is named after the hospital name itself. And it was a pictures which is there the people who are from Archer, Archer and they will be having snow and they will be having throw ball as well as they will be having javelin throw. So it, while sitting in the wheelchair how they can um, enhance their sporting skill. So all things has been given uh, by the Ludwig Gutmann, you can see in this picture who is standing behind this lady and he is encouraging them, the sportsman who's, who got the medals. And with the first Paralympics, so so far Stoke Mandelville Games will happen inside the arena itself. For example, each and every year to make enthusiastic the sports person, they will be conducting the uh, sports inside the hospital itself. Then later what happened, it went to the huge globe. It went to the outer area of this one and the first official Paralympic happened in Rome, Italy in 1960. In 1960, they started the first official Paralympic Games and it was a um, boosting one because you can see 400 athletes participated from 23 countries. So that game boost to all the countries. What are all the countries are what are all the are people who are all the people who is having the empowerment in their body. Even those people can come and join inside the sports and then they can clinch the medal. So that was given by here and the people from all over the countries came and then they participated. Even though they have many empowerments, they don't have legs, they don't, they couldn't able to see, they couldn't able to diff, diff. For each and every one, they have separate game. Okay, if you are, if you're not able to walk this one, I'll be giving you this sport. You can play this sport. If you if you couldn't able to um, have a proper limb, I, I'll be giving you this one. So you can do the a sport. For it is not to stop. It is to make sure what you have with that what you can do with the skill and dedication is very very important okay so next one is paralympics 2020 uh, here the sports are there some of the sports which they included in paralympics is nothing but a uh, 28 sports as of now we have 28 sports in paralympics 22 summer sports and six winter sports so what is the summer and winter already we know in the olympic um, video i told we have summer olympic and winter olympic the same goes to the paralympic They'll be having para summer Paralympics and winter Paralympics. So, what is this Paralympics? Paralympics. We know Olympics. What is para? That prefix para is nothing but along with the Olympics, they will conduct the Paralympics. That's along with the Olympics, they'll be conducting another one game that is called as Paralympics. So, we know after the Olympics, two weeks after, you'll be conducting the Paralympics. And here I gave some of the pictures which you can able to visualize. And here I can name some of the persons who who inspired me who inspired many sports person into the arena who thought i couldn't able to do because i don't have hand some people who thought i couldn't i, I don't have legs i couldn't able to participate in sport so for each and everything some people broke and then he they showed that everyone can participate when you have skill for example i can see i can show this guy he's a egyptian person his name is ibrahim amato he's a table tennis player without his hand without his hand he is holding the racket in his mouth and with the help of the leg, he, he will be serving the ball. Can you see how mesmerizing this word? It is, he is, it is not stopping. If I am not having hand, he is using his mouth for the whole game. For the, you know, table tennis will be going, how harsh it will be going. going. With that, he is able to uh, claim, uh, claim some of them in Tokyo 2020. Tokyo 2020 Paralympics, he participated but he couldn't go for the uh, medal. Medal events, but he, he participated and then he went for rounds round one round two round three he went that is also one of the welcomed one Another you can see in this the updated one is your in Paralympics 2024. She belongs to Britain Her name was Jody Grinham. Her name was Jody Grinham, Who was seven month pregnant when she clinched bronze medal in Archer? So even though she's having that one she participated and then she, she clinched bronze medal 
it is appreciating one another one is she is telling to the world that if you are if you are pregnant or if you are having this one that means you should not participate no even though i have that one i am participated and i can able to do that one so you can do that one so that's why the symbol you can see the symbol of this international Par paralympic committee symbol will be having the the red green and the blue that depicts something called agitos what is agitos is nothing but i move whatever happens i move that is the motto of this international paralympic committee which is your agitos and the next one paralympics 2024 we are going to see what happened in paralympics 2024 and what is the flag bearer and how many medals we got and what is the closing ceremony everything we are going to see in the upcoming slides so so it happened from 28 august to 8 september in france paris we know that one and in this 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 time 400 to more than 4000 to 400 athletes have been participated in this one clear and where it happened it happened in the place called this chance elysis to the place de la concorde so from where they will be march they will be doing the march fast they will be doing the march fast each and every country they will be doing the march fast and then they will enter into the podium and then they will start the opening ceremony so that is the place and which is depicted in this picture you can see here which came inside clear okay so next one we are going to see something called historic medals so what is the historic medals we know paralympics medals and olympic medals what are the historic medals historic medals are nothing but this time the whole paralympics uh, history this medal placed a, a new value and it added a new value but what it added a new value because paris added something inside the medal what it ends up added you can see this medal from the outside view for the normal persons if you see this medal this medal is a normal medal only okay fine but they did something intriguing things added there for example the arctic things which they added is very very mesmerizing one for example i'll tell you one thing you can able to see this medal this medal is having a iron plate this iron plate is taken from eiffel tower eiffel tower which is in pra paris everyone knows the famous eiffel tower that from that when it was renovated in 20th century they took this metal so then they took this iron and then they fixed it here so that the person who is getting the medal it can be a bronze it can be a silver it can be a gold they will be taking the french culture to their own country so to depict this one they inserted this one the second one if you topple this medal if you topple this medal the back side of the medal you, you can see this picture this picture is nothing but from the down side or the from the down to up view of the paris eiffel tower it is visible here and another one is they used for because we know this is for paralympics some people who participated i might be uh, blind so for those blind people how they will be seeing whether we got uh, gold or we got silver or we got bronze for that we know that one there is a language for the blind person so that is they inserted here universal braille this braille language is which they did they started to integrate inside the medal so that while touching the medal they can able to identify whether it is a bronze medal or it is a silver or it is a gold medal can you see how they compact the whole thing for the especially for the paralympians so they should not have any empowerment they should not have they should not feel the stress that okay because i couldn't because i have the wheelchair i couldn't go to this place even in the inside the city inside the france you know they started for all the areas they kept the ramp they kept the ramp means so the wheelchair persons can go to any shop or any restaurants and then they can enjoy so that is the uh, inclusive thing which the pra france did in the paris 2024 paralympics the next one is the mascot as you know for each and every game they'll be having the mascot for this paralympics as well as for the olympics for the both they'll be having only one mascot it is not two mascots this mascot is nothing but your fridge this fridge is having a, a small story which already had mentioned in the olympic even though i'll be having a, a small story here it is having a it is uh, inspired by a phrygian cap this phrygian cap is famous when the french revolution started when it started 1789 when the french revolution started this phrygian cap was famous sir why is it because the person who uh, supported the democratic government started to wear this type of um, cap so after that one it came into their culture and to depict that culture what they did they in included as a mascot of the paralympics 2024 and as i told you have can you see the caliper of this leg this caliper is mentioning that paris is also hosting the paralympics okay so next one is your flag bearer we have the flag bearer the flag bearer for this 
from our Indian side. From our Indian side, the flag bearer will be a Sumit Antil, who is a javelin thrower, and Bhagishi Jadav is a, a shot put thrower. So both of them hold their flag and they entered into the arena of the opening ceremony of Paralympics 2024. You can see in this picture. Okay. So next one is your how many athletes participated in the Paralympics 2024 from our Indian side. So it is 84 athletes have participated in the Paris 2024 Olympics. In Olympics, 117. In Paralympics, we had 84. So the number is less, but the outcome was more here. From the Olympics, we got six medals, but in the 84 athletes participated and then they clinched more medal comparing to the Olympics. And we have something called gender equality here. What is gender equality? It is a sustainable development goal which was told by the United Nations. United Nations. It is nothing but we have to include we have to include everyone inside the sport. The sport I told already sport is for everyone. It is not for a particular gender or particular person. It is for everyone. So this gender equality they showed here and more men, 34 men, in this 84, somehow 34 women has been participated from our Indian side. And then they also clinched medal, the gold, bronze as well as the uh, silver. And India will compete three new sports. This time, India will compete in three new sports that your para cycling, para rowing and your blind judo. So, okay. So, any difference between the games which is conducted in the Paralympics as well as in the Olympics? Is there any difference? Is there any rules and regulations which will be changing? Yes, there are some of the rules and regulations which they will be classification classified for the uh, according to their environment or according to the game. For example, you take um, tennis. In tennis, the ball should bounce only one time. But in Paralympics, in para tennis, the ball can bounce two times. That is the one thing which they keep the rules. But is there anything similar to the Olympics as well as the Paralympics? Yes. In basketball, you take in basketball the height of the net. In the Olympics is 3.05 meters, the same height which they kept in the Paralympics. So only if you have a skill and if you have the good dedication or the um, training, you can able to what you can you can, you can able to basket the ball. So that is all some of the things which they included as well as we have another one thing for them para athletes. For the para athletes, the sports fan can get one guide, one guide to the. For example, they will be blind. They will be blind, so they can get. For para athletes, they can choose either one guide. That is their choice. So what the guide will do, so they will be guiding inside the track while they are running. But at the, at the ending point, the guide should not cross before. The participant or the person who is participating in that sport, they have to cross the line. Then only the guide should cross the line. So those are some of the uh, rules which they included inside the Paralympics as well as in the, to take in the basketball. When the ball is inside the thigh, they should not supposed to roll their wheel. They should not supposed to roll their cha wheel two times. Once their ball is arrested, two times only they have to do. Beyond the two times, if you are doing, then it will be given as penalty. So those are some of the things which they are um, they customized according to their sports for the individual sports. For example, basketball, para athletics, archers. Or there are some of the things here. Okay. So the next one we will be going for the medals clinched by India. So how many medals we clinched? We got 29 medals, but how many participants? 84 athletes has been participated in the 29 medals we got. So in the seven gold. 9 silver and you are 13 bronze. This, how, this number is somehow big than the Olympics. And we will be seeing, we'll be looking each and every medal holders. That is the one respect which we are giving to them. Because they got the medals to our India. The one respect which we can give is nothing but we have to call out their names and then we have to make sure. We should not supposed to make sure. Okay, uh, we have the, uh, let us take on uh, someone gold or someone gold medalist or uh, nine silver medalist or 13 bronze medalist no we have to do you have to make sure each and everyone's name you should at least you have to read and then you have to keep it because that is the minimum respect which we are giving to them so for the para athletics we got the Pravin kumar in men's high jump and for the navdeep the men's javelin thrower and the summit is for men's javelin thrower and the dharmambir for the men's club throw you can see here t64 f41 and f64 these are all some of the impairments what is the number of impairments or what is the percentage of impairments they have according to that they will be given that one here. So for para archery we got one medal Harvinder Singh. This Harvinder Singh later become the closing ceremony flag bearer. And here para badminton for Kumar Nitish and men's singles SL3 and shooting para sport for Avani Lekhara for women's 10 meter air rifle standing. So which you can see in this pictures I depicted some of the uh, sports person picture here you can see that one. So next goes to the a silver medalist 
for uh, Nishat Kumar in para athletics and Sharad Kumar and Sachin Sarajev Kilhari, the men shot put and Yohesh Katunya and Ajit Singh and Pranav Surma. So those people got from the para athletics and in para badminton, Suhas Elbai. Suha, this Suhas Elbai is an, is an former IAS officer from Uttar Pradesh cadre. In 2007, he got the commission and later he becomes a badminton player. He is a world's number one badminton player in your Paralympics. So noted this one. This might happen. This might they will be asking you in the exam. And another one is your Tulasi Madhi Murugeshan. And the shooting para sport is for Manish Narwal. So these are all them. Actually, he is a Suhash. He is a Suhash who is a officer. Okay. Next we'll go to the bronze medalist. Bronze medalist we had somehow 13 because that's the number is huge. So in the next slide I inserted the picture. In this slide I just name their names. Maripan Thangavelu for men's high jump and Hakato Hotazi Sema and Sundar Singh Gurjar, Preeti Pal. This Preeti Pal was later along with Harvinder Singh got the closing ceremony flag bearer because she clinched two medals, two bronze medals in women's 200 meters and women's 200 meters which is your para athletics and Simran women 200 meters and Deepti Jivanji women's 400 meters and in para archery we got mixed team compound open India. What is this mixed compound means? They will be having two persons. So Devi Sheetal and Kumar Rakesh. So this Devi Sheetal photo which I showed in the first slide of my video and in the para badminton is for Manisha Ramdas and Nitya Sri Sumati Sivan and para judo is for Kapil Parmar and shooting para sport is for Rubina Francis and Mona Agarwal. So those are all the champions who got the bronze medalist in Paralympics 2024. And here you can see the pictures here. I showed some of the picture here. Ashi is a Devi Sheetal who is having a word with our Prime Minister. And you can see our Tangavel Mariyappan who clinched three times medal in your consecutive medals in your Olympics. And what is the table? What is so by clinching this 29 medal in Paralympics, what is the position of India in the medal table? We got 18th position. We got the 18th position here and the first place goes to China, the second Britain, third US and the fourth Netherlands and the fifth goes to a Brazil. So you can see here Brazil is having 89 medal where Netherlands is having 59, 56 medal. So even though 89 medal is higher, 89, the, total, the number is more than 56 but Brazil got the fifth position whereas Netherlands got the fourth position because of the gold medal. You can see the gold medal here. Brazil got only 25 gold medal, where Netherlands got 27 gold medal. So depends on the gold medal, you are, uh, uh, your positions are measured, uh, your positions are taken in your tables. And the closing ceremony happened, the closing ceremony happened by the Harbinder Singh and the Preeti Pal, where the India's flag bearer and it was ended and the torch, the torch has been lighted off and then they will be sent and then they will be giving back to the, the host country, who is the next host country, the future host country. We know that Paralympics and as well as the Summer Olympics which will happen for every four years. So this if you calculate from 2024 the next Olympics will be happening 2028 which is your Los Angeles in America. And we have some of the winter games. We know winter games each and every two years will be conducted and the upcoming winter games will be 2026 which will happen at Milano Cortina in Italy. We know Italy. Uh, now tell me in this video I mentioned something from Italy. Just mention in the comment what I mentioned something Ita in, in, about Italy in our in my previous slide okay and we know this this is our Paralympics 2024 torch and it is also having a small history from the Olympia they will be lighting the torch and then it will come along the way to that and then it will pass through the countries and then they will start to light up in the host country okay so in this video we saw the holistic thing about the Paralympics how the participants are entering into the games with full enthusiastic and with the skill and how they are clinching the medals and then they are going to the respective countries and then they are they are welcomed in their respective countries and we have to make sure that India, India have to make sure that more number of participants has to enter into the sports arena not only in the Paralympics, it should be in the Olympics as well as in the national games, in the Asian games, Kelo India. So those games are some of the uh, uh, seeds. So Kelo India, Asian games, national games, those are the seeds where the huge tree is our Olympics and our Paralympics. So make sure you have to follow our channel for more videos. Thank you.